Hey guys, welcome to Jen's Creativity Corner. I guess this one is kind of a Jen and friend <laughs> Creativity Corner. So just jumping in with the footage and kind of talk about it as we go along. So this is actually my friend that let me video her and it's a project that she's been doing multiple times. I haven't had the chance to and so she was teaching me and you guys. So this is sand or rock art and what she's doing is uh, finding a pattern that she likes obviously if you want to do original art like that's awesome but sketching it out onto a regular canvas you can also do it on like a wood canvas the wood canvases are more expensive she does prefer them if you are going to use a lot of or leave a lot of exposed space in the artwork but if you're going to cover it all like she is in this one then she does prefer to use a canvas and it is cheaper this way so again, sketching it out, and uh, I won't talk the whole time, I'll just let you see it kind of come together. Once you've got your pattern down, then you need the rest of your supplies. So you are going to want some clear glue. She's tried different mediums, so the nice thing is she's done a lot of trial and error for us. But just using some clear, regular school glue, and then figuring out the right kind of sand. I kind of rated her sand stash, and this is three sizes of grit that she has. So a pretty chunky one, a medium size, and then a super fine. And you'll also see it compared to my pinky. The chunky one is really hard to get a good look. It doesn't grip as well. And the fine one gives you great detail, but it is also staticky. So she does generally prefer to use the medium size unless you're willing to give some patience for super fine details. So anyway, half and half proportions of the clear glue and water mixed up well. And then just taking some paint brushes and going a little bit at a time. Obviously you don't want to apply too much so it dries before you can put the sand on. And she's got a little flexible like cutting board or mat underneath so that way she can just scoop it back into the container. If you are interested in making one of these yourself or any of the craft or cooking projects that I put on this channel then feel free to check out down below. I have some links for specific products here. I'm trying to find you know as close to the supplies that she has as possible and also I have an Amazon shop with tons of different things in there so if it's not listed itemized you can check out my shop but anyway not too much self-promotion but it does help support this channel if you do use my affiliate links down below so I can get all the cool craft supplies to experiment and show you guys so I'm not gonna yap the whole time I will let you see it come together and then uh, at the end here with the big reveal I'll show you a little bit more about the technique we'll talk about how to seal it and then you'll be able to see a whole bunch of different projects that she's done uh, not just you know a nativity base but I was really excited she made this for me I do collect nativities and I'm, I just love how it turned out so anyway here we go let you watch it
So here we are where my camera died. So you get to see a big reveal in a little bit here, but you can see on this uh, up close view where she actually mixed some of the colors. So you get um, a little more variety. So it, there's some more pure orange, pure yellow, and then some that are mixed. And I think it gives it a really cool effect without having to actually buy a completely different shade of sand. I think it helps be cohesive as well. So to be able to seal it, she's just taking an X-Acto knife here, kind of cleaning up the edges where there might be some strays. And then a nice flat brush here. And just using the same solution that you used initially and carefully putting it on there. You don't want to mix it around and dig it up or anything like that. I would love to know down in the comments below, if you were to make one of these, what would you do? Like is there a favorite painting you would want to do, certain theme, I don't know, maybe you'll get some inspiration from the ones that she did after this. So once you've got it all sealed up, give it at least overnight, I'd say maybe a full day to let it dry. And here are some of the examples of other things that she has done in the past. One of the techniques that you'll see here is actually what she calls a scratch out technique. So you actually cover the whole thing and then scratch out so it's a negative space. So that's also another technique that you can do. So that's this one and then the next one right here. So those are pretty cool as well. Some cute, super cute stuff. Um, this one she made for me as well, the lady with the lips. So comment down below, let me know which of these is your favorite. I love them all. I think it's awesome. So thank you so much for your support, for subscribing, hitting the notification bell, sharing this. And you know, I hope to see you around soon. Let me know in the comments what kind of stuff you want to see. I know that my videos are a little bit of hit or miss. A lot of subscribers and some videos get tons of views and some get practically nothing. So let me know what you want to see and hopefully we'll see you soon. Bye.